Welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to share with you this kind of neat widget I've designed over here to upcycle prescription pill bottles. So if you're anything like me, you get a little bit older, you end up with all these brown colored pill bottles at the end of the month, and you hate throwing them away because they seem so useful, but what for? And uh, one of the things I decided to do was to create sort of a compartmentalized storage divider for these. Because one of the things, I also fly drones, and I have a lot of these tiny screws. I don't have enough to fill up a pill bottle, but I do have enough if I take, you know, four or five different sizes to fill one up. So that's sort of where this came from. And basically you can use this to kind of sort anything with inside these pill bottles. And because we're using OpenSCAD, we're making it parametric. No matter the size of the pill bottle, you can come up with an insert for it. So let's jump in and take a look at the code and see how we're putting all this together. And I'm going to do a little bit double duty with this video and show you how to create a customizer in simple terms for Thingiverse, as well as how did I create this code and how a simple amount of code creates a very interesting object such as this. So one of the first things I like to do is lay out my parameters. And so you see here I have a section in my code, and I just comment this so I can logically have a place to put my variables. Now I make these global variables so they, they're exposed or make themselves available to all the modules in the program in simplistic terms. So what we have here is we have the bottle diameter, we have the separator height, we have the number of compartments, we have wall thickness, we have stem height, and we have stem diameter. Now, one of the things to make the customizer, it will take the comment above the variable and turn that into the title for that variable. So as you can see here, I've named each one of these. And again, you can put whatever text you want here. So as it comes after the comments, the Thingiverse customizer is going to put that as the title of your variable. Now, the other piece I like to do is I like to constrain uh, my customizer. So to do that, I typically want to use a slider. Now, to use a slider, what I do is I simply add in a comment after the variable number. So, for example, here, the minimum will be 20, the step will be 0.5, and the maximum will be 50. And you can see how I've carried that out for all of these. So what will happen is when I upload this as a customizer into Thingiverse, it will create sliders for these. And so, for example, for the bottle diameter, the minimum size will be 20 millimeters, and it will move in half millimeter increments all the way up to 50. And then it will take 29.5 as being its set value at the time you open the customizer. So now with that said, I've laid out my variables to define how big I want the various things. So what I'm going to do now is go down to the code. Now the code is actually really, really simple. And so I use my standard main module design. So in the standard, my standard main module design, I start the same way every time. It's simply a, a module named main. And then I have my difference in union set up. And for this one, I really am using no differences. There are just, this is just all straightforward, a simple union. And so one of the first things I want to do is I want to start out and create the, what I call the step variable for my uh, compartments. And we'll talk about that in a little bit more. But as you see here, I'm taking 360 and dividing by my compartment numbers, and this is creating x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this variable that x down here into my for loop, and you're going to see we're going to start at 0 degrees, we're going to step at x increment to 360 degrees. And then what we're going to do is result this as being a, and then a comes over here into the z translation. And then that's how we turn these. So you have one that comes out at 0 degrees, and one that comes out at 180 degrees, or Sorry, is this 180 degrees? I think so, yeah. Because what we're doing is we're splitting the difference between uh, 360. And so we flip this. And so if we were to go up here and let's say we wanted to uh, make compartments equal 6. And notice I kind of cheated and only made even number compartments. Whoops. So you see if I have two compartments, you have a left and a right side compartment. And then if I were to go back up here and I were to say... Uh, 6 like I originally intended if I don't push that twice and just tell it to repaginate as you see I get 6 here and what happens is this now angles that to come out with 6 compartments pretty simple 
Now the other piece I do is I create a base which is this base down here and this is so when it goes down into the tube I can pull it back up because the idea behind this whole thing is I have this sphere at the top connected to a stem so I can grab a hold of this and pull this up and whatever is it's containing will come up with it because one of the things you'll find you can't get your fingers to the bottom of this especially with these uh, uh, dividers in there. So this is kind of a simple approach of just pulling up whatever screws happen to be at the bottom and you can get them and then it just slides right back down into place. So we create the base, we create the center because as you might have seen when I had it at um, 2, let's go ahead and back and turn it back to 2, you notice over here I've got a center stanchion that kind of runs, not kind of, it does run from the base all the way up to the top of the sphere. Um, and one of the things that I do when I also create the sphere, let's see, right here I have it. So I also bring down this the sphere um, a little bit. Well, actually I bring down the, the stem a little bit, uh, one millimeter, so you see that right here. Or else it'll poke out the top of the sphere because obviously the sphere tapers and the cylinder won't taper, so it'll just simply pass through and it looks kind of odd. So this was a simple way to fix that. And again, uh, we create the top, we just have the sphere, and then we create our um, separators here. Pretty simple and straightforward stuff. So again, you can see the power of OpenSCAD. Now all we have to do is change these variables, and we can make this now fit you know, any type of uh, pill bottle container, etc. It doesn't much matter. And this is what the real power is, because again, yes, you can do a lot of this in Fusion 360 or Tinkercad or things like that, but it just makes it so easy. You just change a couple variables and then boom. And you can also make these parametric, sort of as I've done here, that the, the center stanchion is sort of parametric with the sphere, so it's not going to poke through no matter what size we do, because it's always going to be scaled in reference to that. Because one of the things also uh, with this, this sphere is we're actually taking radius, we're, we're basically doubling the, the stem diameter to create the diameter of the sphere. So again, it's going to hold uh, it's going to hold its ratio to the stem. So if we make a bigger stem, sphere becomes bigger. We make the stem smaller, sphere becomes smaller. So it's going to match the size of whatever we create. So I tell you what, I think I rambled enough. You know this code. I'll have the link down below over in the OpenSCAD site so you can get it. And when I do create the, the Thingiverse customizer, I also put the links in the video description as well as on the site. Open SCAD site. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and look at this being printed. We're going to print this on our new Delta printer, so that should be pretty cool. And then we'll meet back at the bench and take a look at the finished product. So let's head over there. Okay, welcome back. We took a look at the time lapse, and here's the finished product. Slides right into the bottle. Uh, these are tapered a little bit, so I went 29 and a half on a 30. I probably should go about 29.3 oh, or so, because it was a little tight. I had to clean up the, the base, and also there's a little dimple in the bottom here that kind of kicks this up. So kind of be aware of that when you figure out your size and then also um, interestingly enough there's another little dimple there so as I screw this in this actually sits on that cap so measured out perfectly because I actually took it to the bottom here and so you can also you know go into the childproof manner too and that actually gives you a little bit more room so it really depends upon how you want to set this up now the other piece we can do is obviously take some screws and then let's dump these in here and boom now the great thing about this is we need to get these. We can just simply pull this up until we can reach them. 
and uh, pull them out. So this is a handy dandy, I think, a little addition to pill bottles. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe, We and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.